Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to the Reddit Estate. So, we've got a couple of cool things going on in this episode. First of all, after the last episode where I actually mentioned it, the Profane Scroll showed up here, and uh, I can't think of any better trinket that I would like to go for. So, I'm wondering, so this is going to be a medium level 3 mission. So, let's think about this. So, we've got these level 3 guys. I could do Pusin up front, Dismas, Fitten, and Mandeville. Sweet. And that's going to be the Soul Train. <laughs> uh, I might actually do Dismas in the front rank most of the time, just for uh, his ability to point blank shot and move back. And I think uh, these guys are all pretty decked out with trinkets as well, so that should be just fine. All right, let's go ahead and pop into our provisioning screen here. Uh, now we've got these potent salves that we're gonna have to take out to disinfect some corpses. We've gotta camp at least one time, so I'm gonna do two full stacks. We do have a dedicated healer. Then we can do a yeah, full thing of shovels and a little less than two full stacks for the uh, the torches. And then uh, we'll just do like a couple of these kind of things for interaction's sake. As we go through, we're going to clear up a little bit of inventory space, so uh, that shouldn't be too bad. And we'll go ahead and embark. Now, one of the cool things I wanted to talk about, and I know I'm going to get interrupted with uh, the narrator just as soon as we load in and he decides to start talking, but... Uh, we just passed the 100 subscriber mark, and I'm uh, pretty excited about that, guys. Like, I just started the channel, well, let's see, about five and a half months ago now. And so, when I was starting up, uh, certainly 100 subscribers seemed like a very lofty and far away goal. It may not seem like much compared to the, the millions of subscribers that, uh, that some channels have, but I'm... I'm pretty happy with my uh, lot in life and my uh, little corner of the internet that I'm building and growing here. And, gold and I thank and every balls. last one of you for uh, for taking part in that. Blood. Hmm. We're already out of inventory space. You know, um, I think actually in this instance, I'm going to go with Cress over the straight cash reward. And then this is going to clear up an inventory space here. And we found the Finding luggage the left, right, and the center. First test. Now it must be carried home. Oh, uh, already, already out of space. Uh, let's see here. Let's do this. We'll go ahead and pop our holy waters, and grab the deeds. Oh, yeah. And then we're not going to have enough space for the jade, but it's a little bit less of a reward. I always like to grab, like for some reason, the onyx seems like it is fairly common from the uh, 500 pool, like the, the items that cost 500 or are rewarded with 500 gold. I seem to encounter more onyx than anything else, so anytime I get the opportunity to start a stack of it, I'm probably gonna take it. There may just be some observer bias there, but hey, it's my bias and I'm sticking to it. So yeah, the, uh, uh, the success of Darkest Dungeon on the channel, I've been pretty happy with. Uh, I'm sure most of you are here for that. A uh, few people certainly have stopped by to check out you to uh, check out Jagged Alliance 2 with its starting. I didn't expect it to be quite as popular due to the fact that it's just a uh, an older game, but yeah, I've got a lot of uh, sort of classic titles that I have a lot of fun with. So uh, that is going on right now, and you know, just kind of finding more and more of the the channel's identity over time. Um, I think. These sort of tactical and strategy games suit me well, and uh, they're probably going to be the kind of thing that I will keep doing here. All right, we need another torch, and then we do some uh, shoveling. And there we go. If only treasure could staunch the flow mm. of otherworldly corruption. Our second emerald. Oh man, I really need some more space here. Uh, that uh, may come back to haunt me, but we're going to leave behind some of those torches. And then let's see, we could do, come down here, go this way first. By the time we get back there, camp, uh, that may be 
the best course of action. Of course, maybe we'll get hungry a whole bunch of times in between then and now and uh, clear up some space just in the food department. Man, so far, it's, I'm, I feel like I'm in a, a monster movie and it's like, man, it's quiet. Yeah, a little too quiet. So, uh, so far, we have encountered no enemies. Somehow still managed to uh, crank up 23, 8, and 2 on the stress meters, though. And I think for our uh, heirlooms, one stack of each kind of thing is going to be enough. I'm going to have to leave behind that 50 gold, too. In the sense that, you know, I've got a full stack of crests, a full stack of deeds. If I run across portraits or something, I'll take them. But if... I come across any more deeds or crests, I think we're going to have to get left behind for now. Let's see here. We could do a stun on that guy because I really hate Fusiliers and their ability to damage my entire party. And then maybe a Noxious Blast on him, except I whiffed it. Oh my god. One HP. Alright, and now we'll see what the enemy can do to me. Hmm. 14 damage across two characters and a dodge. Not the worst thing in the world. I'm thinking this is a perfect time for a hue. Perfect time for a hue to completely whiff anyway. Um, let's see. Oh, I actually didn't mean to do that, but somehow it magically worked out anyway. And then the Grape Shot the Blast can eliminate one of them. A faint hope and maybe a Noxious Blast. Down to five. It's not quite going to do it. Again... Another enemy left with one hit point. That seems to always be the way. Ooh, that stung quite a bit, actually. Right, let's see if we can't get you bandaged up. And then... We don't really need to do anything to the front two ranks, so I'm just going to buff to get the huge damage and accuracy up. And then... And then I'm going to miss. Yeah. Okay. It would have been nice if you could have connected with that, I'm just saying. And... Alright, that's going to do it. So we can spend a little bit of time healing up here. And... Then these guys are just going to die of their own accord. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Alright, and... Let's go ahead and do another buff for him. If we run into a... Fight... In the very next room, we're certainly going to be prepared for it. Alright. And that is a dead group of brigands. Oh man, that's a lot of gold. Um, well, I guess it's better than an emerald. Yeah, not the button I wanted. Okay. Alright. Inventory space is at a premium here. Man, and still, nothing, nothing but empty rooms. Okay, still got his damage and accuracy buff right off the bat. That's nice. Uh, let's go ahead. Try to stun. Uh, he resisted. He's got decent enough resist, so I'm not super surprised at that. Oh, and a rend. Okay. I need a bandage. I understand. You're going to get a bandage. We've got plenty of them. So then we can hew here. Uh, not quite enough on the Nasher. And then the ghoul ends up at the back. All right. Let's see, his blight is at 40. I should be able to overcome 40%. Yeah, that'll do 12 over the next few turns, which is very nice. Spread a little more damage there for one kill and softening up two other enemies. Hmm. Thank you for resisting the bleed. Thank you for missing. That actually was a bad thing. Oh my god. Rabid Nashers and your dodge of 28. Just... Oh. Okay. Um, I don't think we're quite at the point that we need to party heal. As long as we've got one character at max health, I feel like I'm losing out on a little bit of its potential. I think we are going to soak up some serious stress during this fight, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's consider... He's at 10. I can do 5 to 8. Let's just shoot the back. Ugh. I was... 40% uh, protection. I guess that does make sense. 
And if we could just land a chop, confidence and we did, as the enemy crumbles. my confidence did in fact surge as the enemy crumbled, so that was nice. Uh, let's try for a stun here again. Man, not doing it. 58 stun persist. I mean, it's like a 50-50 shot. I figured we tried it twice, we would have at least gotten one by now. But this guy, we're taking four more, we need to do eight more damage to him, so this should be exactly what the doctor ordered. Uh, nothing much he can do, so we'll just self-heal. Man, your stress is looking a little bit crazy there. Nice. And we're going to take oh, a Skull Toss this time. And it was dodged. Lovely. And uh, he's now out of the fight. No big deal. We'll just uh, tracking shot and throw some random buffs around as uh, it really doesn't matter anymore. Oh my god. I can crit for five healing with that? That's insanity. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and start Revenge. Just in case we run into anything else in this hallway, and then he'll be dead. Size alone nice. Does not dissuade the sharpened blade. All right, and um, hmm, I guess I guess we're gonna have to leave those behind for now. A little sad, and then I think we're gonna end up letting our torchlight burn down a bit as we uh, hit this dead end. That way, as we come back. We can do it in minimal light and not be too concerned. Alright, Mr. Quivering Ectoplasms. Uh, what do we want to do to you? Stun is 70% resisted. I guess Judgment makes the most sense. He'll get the heal and 9 damage is nothing to sneeze at. That takes him down to 5. Man, highly resistant to Blight too, huh? There is very little that a uh, Plague Doctor can do against you guys. Oh wow, that's like a miracle that that landed. Yeah, And then... Uh, that could have gotten the kill if it had hit. But it didn't. Thankfully he's going to slide into position for just about everybody to take a swing at him. Oh wow, we're overcoming 80% Blight Resist. Nice, very nice. All right. a trifling victory. Yeah, but trifling. A victory I think it was a pretty decisive victory, truth be told. Oh my god. So much space is needed. Uh, we'll say it's better than a bandage. And then... Go ahead and move on. Oh, yeah. Uh, remember that bandage I just threw away? It would come in really handy right here. Mm, nothing of interest. Oh well. We might just start ignoring all of our uh, loot along this path and interacting with Curios on the ride back. I think that's probably the best plan there. Somehow didn't get... Uh, let's see if a combo Q and Grape Shot Blast is not enough to get any kills there. That is unfortunate. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that just to take away one of the enemy's turns. And then we can soak up a Rend and probably a stress-inducing... No, Eldritch Pull. How quickly the time Critical turns. Eldritch Pull. Uh, thankfully, I don't think that really does too much to mess with our party. Uh, let's see here. I should probably go for the back as the Blight on her takes several turns. But if I just get a little bit more damage inflicted on her, I think we'll be doing okay there. And he can chop, which easily dispatches the Brawler. And she can still party heal from the second slot. And there we go. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. This expedition at least promises success. Again, tossing out lots of cool stuff. We'll go with that there and then reorder everybody. Let's go ahead and get him back to the front for more of his point blank shots and we're gonna have to leave behind a few more deeds it looks like a mostly empty hallway torchlight is crackling down but i think we'll be all right if i could really stand to encounter oh i, I totally just broke my own rule of uh i was going to not interact Make with the curios until the ride back to the spreading corruption 
Malformed with misintent. Okay. All in all, it didn't matter too much. We only encountered that one box. Man, and nothing in here. So, like, everything we need is going to be in these final few rooms? That is insanity, people. Now, I don't really want to run into a shambler. But I think we'll be okay. You'll notice the uh, torchlight ticks down very slowly at the end. We are, however, going to run into another band of outlaws. Uh, let's see. Put a little bit of healing on him. And then... I guess we just chop and miss. And then we're going to eat a bunch of blanket fires. This is actually going to be the fight, I think, that has the biggest chance of doing a ton of HP damage to me. The uh, two Fusiliers are just going to blanket fire repeatedly. That stuff can really add up. And since it's spread across the entire party, it's very difficult for a Vestal to stay ahead of it with the healing. We're getting some good dodges, though. Can't complain too much about that. Uh, maybe if I just... Stacked Blight can take care of those guys in two rounds. It's not the worst thing in the world. Four to eight won't quite do it. So instead, we'll get the guaranteed kill. That guy's out of the fight on his next turn. We're going to have to eat two more blanket fires, basically. Ugh. Fitting, you're looking a little low there. I'm not going to lie. Just five. Man. I'm not getting the kind of damage out of uh, the Highwayman that I have grown accustomed to. He received some nerfs in the last patch as Grave Robbers and uh, Houndmasters both got a little bit better. The Highwayman got a little bit worse. Maybe I'm just not quite acclimatized to it yet. Mortality oh. clarified in a single strike. That was painful. He's going to take 10 points of bleed. If we do nothing about it anyway. Uh, we're going to do some things about it, though. Um, you know what? This may seem real silly, but if I killed him, I uh, wouldn't get the chance... Oh my god, that was the worst party heal. I wouldn't get the chance to battlefield medicine here, which I... You know, I really felt like the 10 damage you would have taken was, uh, was too important to just ignore. Alright... These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Well, it looks like I uh, I bet on the wrong pony with uh, with going for onyx instead of emeralds. That's unfortunate. I've encountered like three emeralds that I've tossed away. <sighs> oh well, oh well. And as our torchlight dwindles, I think we're just barely gonna make it to this room before exhausting it completely. Uh, which will be fine. That'll be the perfect time for us to light a campfire. Yeah, man. One torchlight remaining. That was uh, almost like I planned it that way. Alright. We can get in here. We'll do a nice feast. Everybody gets a little bit of stress resist, which is nice. Go ahead and clean guns and reflection. These are like the no-brainer decisions of the party's campfire. And then I could up accuracy and dodge. I could a little bit of healing. Eh. Anybody have like a disease right now? No, I think these guys have been fairly well treated back in town. Could do the increased chance of uh, surprise. That's actually looking pretty good. Bandit sense for two. Hmm. Could reduce his own stress. I don't think stress is really my biggest concern right now. So, um, let's just go ahead and get a little more HP on her. And then we'll do the self buffs. So, one companion, get a little more accuracy and dodge. Why don't we make that him? And then, with only one left, what can we do? Reduce stress, increase everybody else's. Do you even have 25? He does. Uh, why not? I don't think this is a camping skill I've ever used before. You know, but we there's a 
net positive of 10 there uh, from him reducing by 25 and the rest of our party getting 15 across the board. He's been taking the biggest beating on stress being up front anyway, so why not? That's it. No sleep for us. You, you guys could consider bringing like a bedroll or something. I'd be okay with that. Oh boy. Hi, Mr. Blighted Giant, who surprised us. Okay. Um, what is your stun resist? 70? 110? It's not the greatest chance in the world, but I think it would be her greatest contribution to this fight. Did manage to land, which is swell. I'm going to take this turn then to buff just a little bit. Embrace the dock. Yeah, again, there we go with that stress from the front rank. And then, um, oh man, tracking shot didn't land, so I didn't get the buff. That is unfortunate. Uh, just knocks just blast. Everybody's not in a terrible position, honestly. Uh, if we just stack some blight on him, he's not exactly the type of enemy that blighting makes a lot of sense for, considering the considering uh, his overall HP. Uh, like he's one of those characters that didn't have any protection, but instead just had a ton of hit points. So I've always kind of viewed those characters as being like. Nice. Very nice. As being um, the characters that were more resistant to Bleed and Blight. You know, instead of... Oh my god. I got smacked down by a thing. Twelve. Twelve is the best you can muster. Uh, I think we're going to be in this long enough that the actual damage buff might matter here. Uh, but yeah, I'd always viewed like characters like this as, you know... Um, not, oh great, they don't have protection. It was more like, oh man, damage over time is terrible against this guy just because of... Oh, thank god he dodged that. Just because of how many hit points he has total. Alright, 12 to 23. 20's not bad. We've been landing a few too many 12's. Okay, and he's down to 18. He's gonna take 12 there. And a six, he will die, but we are going to get clubbed in the face with another tree. Actually, he will not die. I still need to do that. All right. As well. Victories mount, so too will resistance. Anybody? Why not? I'll, I'll take minus five damage to her for the rest of it, just for the sake of carrying that back with us. Ugh. Well, uh, all of our healing kind of went by the wayside after that campfire. That's a little unfortunate, I would say. But hopefully we can do something about that fairly quickly. Oh, let me see. I'm a C. Hey, Fitton, how about we give you a shovel? Okay. Thank you. I mean, I, I get that you were excited, but you didn't need to dig it up with your bare hands. Ambushed by foul invention. All right. Now we're going to be keeping our torchlight up. And I still can't believe that we have all of the potent salves. How is that possible? I feel like I'm missing something. Please don't tell me I'm missing something. All right, get him buffed up. We've gotta basically focus healing on the leper. A little bit of poison back here. I think two barrages of that should be enough for those Death lovely ladies. Wins. For the Ugh. slightest lapse in concentration. Okay. Not the worst thing in the world. Maybe the worst thing in the world. Okay. No move. No move is good. Um. Um. Jeez. Five to seven. Okay. I'm not super excited about the things that are going on in this fight. These guys have so much protection still at 50%. Which push. Okay, no move. That's great. Oh, and they're just really stacking it up on him. A character that we've basically made dodge and protectionless in uh, exchange for a little more damage. Um... I'm going to have to move 
Otherwise, the leper becomes real useless back here. It's not too bad, though. Such a terrible cannot one, be left unanswered. one character having to move to basically resort the party seems okay. All right, resisted that one. Uh, could we get a turn, maybe? I feel like they took the last turn on the last round and then first turns this round. Okay. Let's do this. One of them down. Lovely. And we can point blank shot into the sky. Nine's not exactly fantastic. And I almost feel like we have to heal as really the only option here. It was a good miss. I'm digging the good miss. Alright. We'll eat a couple of stressful incantations. And... Man, those party heals are, are not bringing it today. Mandible, if you could maybe sort that out for us, that would be great. Okay, he's going to be at 9. 4 to 7. 3 to 5. I guess we just... Okay, 7. Not bad. He's got 2 left. If we could just inflict the blight. Lovely. Everybody take a deep breath. Everything's going to be fine. Alright, and we even got one more action here. 14, 10. Go ahead and get two. And Solemnity for a little more healing. Our Leper's not looking too bad all of a sudden. Uh, but suddenly our Plague Doctor stands out. Ugh. Three. I realize she has a trinket that is reducing her heal, but man... It is uh, definitely not helping. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Oh, and I guess we're going to just end up tossing it. In this uh, particular instance, I guess the best choice of action would have been heading down these hallways first to uh, alleviate uh, some of the space in our pack. Oh my god, again? We have shovels, woman. Shovels. Oh, that's not where I want you. Oh, that's not where I want you either. Okay, there we go. We brought we brought shovels. You don't you don't have to do that. Finally, infected corpse. It would be amazing if we could just run into like all of them in like the next hallway. As the light We've got plenty purchase, of torches still. Spirits are lifted. Yeah, and like one right clear. here, and then maybe just like one in the very next room. Wouldn't that be great? I could deal with that. Party heal out as everybody is missing some of their HP. And then just get a big hit on him right off the bat. Okay. I think he'll be dead in like two turns. She could stack up a little bit of blight on these guys in the back. Okay, 20's not bad. And we're gonna soak up some blanket fire, which is sort of unfortunate. Coupled with Rain of Whips. Maybe even more unfortunate. Ugh. Ten. Well, I think I know what we're going to end up doing here. Okay. Oh, that's bad. That's actually real bad. Uh, Fitton, if you could just not act until after uh, we get a chance to heal you, I would be super okay with that. Nice. That actually worked out pretty well. Ooh, thank you. Thank you for not dying. Battlefield Medicine. It's going to cure both of them. And then... Let's go ahead and just party heal. Good crit for three. Not bad. It's a, I've done threes on actually targeted heals for her before, so I can't really complain. Uh, and since he can't hit anything right now, I'll just have him buff for a moment. What's your stun resist look like? Low enough that we can keep you from acting. Yeah. I think a highwayman's bullet nestled in your chest is gonna be just fine and dandy. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Hmm. We found a chalice. Uh, let's do this. We can eat. And then that's worth a thousand. I can't say no to a thousand. Uh, I guess we swap that. 
Ugh. And affected corpse. Only I could have interacted with you a moment ago. Okay. And... I'll get hungry right away. All we're waiting on is one more infected corpse. We could just be right around the corner. The light. Of course, the if it is not, safety. we have a decision to make. Do we turn left or do we turn right? You. Hi, Mr. Giant. Oh, stun is 70. That's like a 40% chance. Let's see if we can get lucky. No. A blazing we, did, star is born. we did not get lucky. I'm going to go ahead and buff here for the added accuracy and damage. And then we're just going to be taking pistol shots into these back ranks. Okay. Ooh. That seems bad. Is it just Mark? No, it accuracy and dodge debuffed her. Okay. Four for three. She'll go down in two rounds. Oh my god, that tree branch. Alright. Let's go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Tree branch versus broken sword. Uh-oh. Yep. Yep, that's a bad thing. Okay. Um... I think Fitten is going to end up needing to move back. And actually, uh, I never use it for that. But Medicinal Herbs does get rid of debuffs. I've just realized I could use that in combination with the... I'm a moron! How has that never occurred to me before? Okay. Well, um, that feels really silly. So yeah, all of these like crazy... Uh, Amazing advantage, but huge debuff with them abilities. Like, we should just be using medicinal herbs for those characters. And then we end up in a situation where they get the huge advantage and never have to take a disadvantage for it. Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? He's got to move up. She's going to have to move back. That was a terrible party shuffle. Ugh. Okay. It's okay. All she can do is move back one space, too. Okay. Can she... She can move forward one space. Alright. She'll die on the next turn. Take... I can get her up to eight. I think I've got to go for it to keep the blight going on the crone. And then maybe we can do this. Wow. That was actually a lot more damage than I thought it was going to be. That worked out, though. Maybe you could reshuffle me back into a situation I can actually do things from. No, not not gonna do that for me. Okay. All right, just you and me. Twelve is not exactly what I wanted. Got some noxious blasts finally going on him. Pistol shot. All right, the pistol shot of twenty I think makes up for a lot. 45! A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. <laughs> no, don't go towards the light, Mandeville. Do not go towards the light. Alright, uh, we need a big hit here. That's not quite gonna do it. But, this should. Thank you. Wealth beyond measure. 45 and the fool hardy alike. I can't believe it did that much damage. All right, we got to munch some food for her. Oh man. This needs to be the right decision. Let's head up. Stashed heirlooms. Uh, this really needs to be the right decision. And a trap. Is the trap you know, maker's art. Let's actually swap his these guys around like so. His own eyes. Oh my god. I am I am reeling and about to break from the amount of damage the that that was. Is clear. Uh, this we was not the right choice. The to follow it. So we head back the way we came. So much backtracking taking place here. Oh man. And finally, it could be in the very... No. 
the very first room, or the very first square, I suppose, but it was not. The worst part is we're gonna clear inventory space, like, right as we finish the dungeon. Oh, I hate that feeling. All right, we, uh, we could use some party heals here. These guys have been made mostly trivial at this point, which is a little unfortunate. I mean, I guess Grave Nibble can still be dangerous in uh, large quantities that it could, you could end up stunning an entire party, but that never, that never really have happened to me. The humors. Okay. Uh, we'll just put him in the ground, and then these guys are going to die next turn due to the blight. At the very precipice of oblivion. Mandeville, please stop that. Please, please stop being ready for the light. It's, it's not your time. Okay. Uh, well, Battlefield medicine, just to get her off of death's door. We'll do a tracking shot, a just in case there's strike. anything in this room. And then Mandeville can heal? Nope, Mandeville cannot heal. Oh well, we tried. Uh, this is not going to be a good adventure for busts. We got four of them, though. And a very quiet end to this dungeon. Not with a bang but with a whimper. All right. And for our rewards, we did get the Profane Scroll and 6,700. That's not too bad. Um, 12,000, 13,000 gold. More than uh, we came, or more than we put into coming out here, certainly. And uh, two sacks of crests, a stack of deeds, a few portraits, and bus. We get two characters up to, or th no, three characters up to level four, and Fitton is almost there. Okay. Lost his armor tinker, extra virtue, but quick reflexes went away. Interesting. Not uh, not too bad. Um, Mandeville at the end there got a little days dicey. When the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. Mansell was nice enough to come back from their stupid search for their stupid holy meaning. Underwent effective cork treatment and removed. Okay. That is going to do it for this episode, guys. Man, our, I had interpreted the patch notes to mean that uh, the economy was going to be, like, harder on you. But uh, we have been stacking up the gold lately. So, no complaints from me there. Uh, we might even have enough deeds and crests to uh, to look at doing some upgrades again, maybe some busts as well. Uh, I'll take a look at that off camera and uh, have it ready for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos daily. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes, and I will catch you guys next time.